Hello everyone, welcome back. So in the previous video, we implemented native end into our project and in this video, we're going to add authentication. So now we're gonna add authentication into our project and for that we need to go to Expo website and on the sidebar, you will see under the reference, the authentication option. Just click on it and now we're gonna follow this process to implement auth into our project and uh, we're gonna have a file structure just like this layout and sign in and then we're gonna have an app group for our protected routes so the first thing we're gonna do is add an authentication context and if I expand this first step you will find they have implemented a context and we will save our states and all the functions in this context they're using the loading and session data so then we're gonna use local storage to preserve the user token and then we can use this session provider into our layout file and we will be using the loading and session data to check if we want to show the loading or we want to redirect to sign in or home page so we're going to have a very similar structure just like this i know all of this sounds a bit confusing but once we start implementing you will see it's very easy so the first thing we're gonna do is add our sign in and sign up pages and we're gonna create these files in our app directory so let's create sign up as well and let's create a functional component and we're gonna change the names to capital sign up same goes for the sign in component as well okay so now we're gonna create a folder which will be a group of routes for our protected routes and i will name it app if you want to learn more about file based routes and how groups work in Expo Router, then I have another video on Expo Router. I'll suggest to watch that video before you start this project so all of your questions will be answered in that video. So now let's create a layout file inside our app group. Let's leave it like that for now. Now let's create another component home which user will see after he logs in. So let's create a component and rename it. Okay, so currently we have this index page which is shown by default and uh, we're gonna change this to start page and we're gonna show a loading state here. So let's rename this to start page. Basically the idea is until we get the user from local storage or from Firebase, we're gonna show a loading state. So that's why we're going to turn this into a loader. Let's add flex one justify center and instead of this text we are going to show activity indicator which is a built-in component size would be large and color will be let's say gray let's save this um, we should see the loader uh, let's reload the application and see okay so we can see the loader but it's at the very top uh, maybe we need to add item center as well um why is it not centered let's go to layout um yeah we need to add a flex one to this container so the reason why it was not centered because it didn't have full space now we added flex one so now it is centered okay so next thing we're gonna do is add auth context into our project so let's create a folder in root directory and inside this folder let's create auth context file okay so first we're gonna add auth context and let's create a variable auth context and we're gonna use the function create context from react just like this and then we're gonna create auth context provider context provider and this will receive all the children components because it's going to wrap our application and inside this we're gonna use a state for user which will be null by default and we're going to use another state is authenticated basically we'll use this state to redirect the user to sign in or to home page so our authentication system will depend on this state and i'm going to set it to undefined and uh, i'll explain later why i did that now next we're gonna add a use effect hook without any dependencies so that it acts as a component did mount function and we're gonna use a function inside this but not now we'll be using that function in future uh, the function will be on auth state change that is from firebase 
and uh, the idea is basically here we will get the user which will be authenticated and based on that user we will redirect the user to sign in or home page now let's create some auth functions that we will use later and login function will receive email and password and we're going to make it async because we're going to make api calls let's add try catch blocks as well so that if we catch any errors we will show that to user let's just copy this for our logout function as well and we won't receive any parameters so let's remove them let's copy this login function one more time for our register function and this function will receive email password and additionally it will have a username and a profile url as well okay great now we're gonna return our context provider so let's add context dot provider and we will render all of our children because this is going to wrap our application and here we're going to provide a value which will be all the states and all the functions that we're going to receive in those children components so we have user authenticated login register and logout okay all done now we're gonna create one more hook to use this context provider in any component so let's create another function use auth and this will use a use context hook from react to use this context values and we need to pass our auth context to this hook and if we don't get the values that means this hook was called where the component was not wrapped inside our provider so we're gonna throw a new error saying use auth must be wrapped inside an authentication context provider okay and if we do get the values we'll just return the values from here okay this is done for now we'll come to this component later so now we need to go to our root layout file and here i'll just implement a new layout because this layout needs to be wrapped inside our context provider so let's create a new main layout and here first we'll use our is authenticated state and we need to call our use auth function from our context file so let's import that just like this next we're gonna use another hook which is called use segments and this will return us the segments value so basically this hook will return us an array of all the segments in current route so if uh, let's say i'm in index route and this will give us an array with a string of index and same goes if we have routes in multiple folders or directories this is very important because let's say if user is authenticated and he is on sign up page where he shouldn't be then we can redirect the user on home page so that's where it is very useful now let's create a use effect hook and this hook will be triggered every time our auth state changes so this will be dependent on this state and uh, here we will determine if the user is authenticated or not and we will do this logic later but uh, now we need to return the slot component which will render all of our children so let's return a slot component just like this okay so this is done now we need to create another component so let's change uh, this component to our uh, let's say root layout because we're gonna use a provider and wrap this main layout with that provider so let's add auth context provider and this will import the context provider from our file and inside this we're going to render our main layout we are doing this because we need to use the use auth hook inside a provider that's why we did that okay so our authentication system is totally dependent on this state is authenticated and this state will be responsible for redirecting the user to home component inside our app group or to redirect the user in sign in component when it's false but when it's undefined we will show the user a loading state and we have the loading state as a default component 
so when it's true we'll show the home component and when it's false we'll show the sign in page but when it's undefined we will keep showing the loading state to user so here we'll make a check if the type of is authenticated is undefined we will return and then we will check if user is in app group or not we will check the first segment and if it equals to app group that will mean user currently is in app group now we have two values in app and is authenticated and we can use that to see if a user is authenticated and user is not in app group that means we need to redirect the user in home so we will have a condition for that we will also check if the user is not authenticated then we need to redirect to sign in page but let's add a comment here first we need to redirect the user to home so that we don't forget it later so when user is authenticated and is not in home we need to redirect to home otherwise if user is not authenticated then we can redirect the user to sign in page so let's add a comment redirect to sign in now we're gonna use the router to redirect the user wherever we want so for that we're going to use use router hook from expo router and uh, using that we can redirect but i'm going to use the replace method so that user won't be able to go back to this loading state here we will replace it with home component and if user is not authenticated then we are going to go to the sign in page okay let's save this now you won't see any change because if authenticated state is undefined so if i go to our context um here so by default you will see we have undefined value for is authenticated state now let's say here we have some logic that will get the user after three seconds so for now we'll use a set timeout method so let's say after three seconds we will get the user and we will set is authenticated to true and if i save this and uh, we wait for three seconds we should be moving to home screen okay so now we are in the layout it says layout uh, why it says layout so let's go to app group and in home uh, it should say home let's go to layout uh, okay so we need to return a stack component here that's why it was showing layout okay now we can see our home component so now let's go back to our auth context now if i refresh the app we will again see a three seconds wait then we will move to home screen now let's say user is not authenticated and this will be updated to false and when i save this we will again wait for three seconds and it will hopefully move to sign in page okay we can't see the sign in text clearly so let's go to sign in and add some padding top let's say padding top of 20 let's save this now we can see sign in page so if i refresh we will again see three seconds wait and then sign in okay so now we have an authentication system where if the user is authenticated he will see the home screen otherwise he will see the sign in screen so later on when we implement firebase auth we won't have to do a lot because all the basic setup is already done i'm using this set timeout method so that we can see the loader but if i make this false and remove this set timeout method we will immediately see the sign in page okay so this is it for this video and in the next video we'll work on our ui and design the sign in and sign up pages so see you in the next video